Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, so a little look at geometric sequences and, and what they mean. So we've already done arithmetic and quadratic and cubic. Geometric then are, are a different type altogether. Um, and if we go to the log tables, um, to sequence and series, we can see that the top half of this was dedicated to arithmetic sequences. The bottom half half is geometric sequence or series, okay? Um, so I'll be referring back to these over the next few classes as we work our way down through using um, the formulae. Okay, so a geometric sequence, what is that? Well, a geometric sequences are formed when each term of a sequence is obtained by multiplying the previous term by a fixed number. Okay, so that is the formal definition of a geometric sequence. I would describe it as it's a sequence that can be formed by multiplying or dividing the previous term by a fixed number, but I'll explain why mine is slightly different in a second. So the first example I have there is the sequence 3, 9, 27, 81, 2, 4, 3, okay? So you can see to get from one term to the other, so this is T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5. To get from one to the other, we are multiplying by three, okay? And the multiplication factor is called the common ratio um, when, you're when it's a geometric sequence, okay? So another sequence is from 10, to 2, to 0.4, to 0.08, to 0.016, so on and so forth, okay? So this can be described as multiplying by a fifth each time, okay? Or, of course, I have it here in green, it could also be described as dividing by five, okay? So don't get too bogged up in it. It's either multiplying by a fifth or dividing by five. E either way, it's the same thing. Okay, but if you look for a formal definition, it is multiplying the previous term by a fixed number. So just like before, the first term of, of a geometric sequence is, is called A, and the common ratio is called OR. Okay, so when we were doing um, arithmetic sequences, A was the first term, D was what was called the common difference, okay? So D common difference or common ratio. And you can see D for difference or for ratio, okay? Just to help you remember it. So you can say that the general form then of a sequence is A comma A or comma A or squared, A or cubed, dot, 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 A or to the power of N minus one. Okay, so I've just written under it in green the terms. So T1, T2, T3, T4, T, all the way up to Tn, okay? So you can see for Tn, well, let's, let's have a look at the pattern. For T2, I get T2 by multiplying the first term by the common ratio. I get T3 by multiplying A or by or again, okay? Uh, whatever the common ratio is, and R by R is R squared. I get T4 by multiplying AR squared by R again, and you can see that's where the R cubed comes out of, okay? So your power is always one less than the term that you're on, and that's because the first term didn't have an R in it at all, okay? It was just A, the first term. So that's why then when you get to Tn, it is A or to the power of n minus one, okay? And it's here anyway in the log tables. It's what Tn, the, the general form of a geometric sequence would be given by, or, or if you were to generate a formula to give you the nth term, this is what you would use. A or to the power of n minus one. So that's the general form of a sequence. And then over here in blue, some notes to remember for every single geometric sequence. Term one is called A. Two, T2 over T1 
will give you R the common ratio. OK, so just like when we did this first example here, because it's easy to see, 9 divided by 3 gives me the common ratio of 3. You can also do, do 23 divided by T2, which would be 27 over 9. That would also give you 3. Of course, you could do T4 divided by T3. It will also give you 3. OK, so it is also equal to Tn over the one before it, Tn minus 1. OK, that's how you calculate R. And then three, that um, formula for the nth term, Tn, is equal to A times R to the power of N minus 1. OK, and that one's in the log tables. And then the final point I have on, on this slide is, is if you're asked to prove that a sequence is geometric, OK, then you're showing that T2 over T1 would be equal to T3 over T2. OK, so if there's this common ratio between the terms, then the sequence is geometric. OK, so that's your geometric sequence. Um, in a couple of classes we'll do, or even next, next class, we might do one on geometric series. So I'll be looking at the SN formula and so on and so forth. But for now, it's just sequences, the terms. Um, so in the next few questions, we're just going to look at various points that's written on this slide and how questions would be phrased to examine this theory. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.